Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and on today's video, we're taking a look to see if the new RAM I've bought is actually any good or not. Keep watching to find out how. Okay, so in today's video, nice simple one. Basically, if you've bought yourself some RAM, or maybe you're having problems with your PC, random crashes, kernel 41 errors, all those kind of weird things which happen with Windows computers, which yeah, we've probably all found at one point or other, you can actually test your RAM very easily within the Windows 11 environment. And there's a free tool built in, so I thought today we'll take a look at it and see if it actually can confirm if the RAM is any good or not. So let's head over to the computer and find out. Okay, so on our Windows desktop, uh, very easy to do. Obviously, make sure your RAM is installed, seated correctly, all those usual kinds of things. Once you've done that, click on the Start tab and then click on All Apps. And then you want to scroll all the way to the bottom. And you'll find there are Windows tools. You can, if you want to, just type in the top here in the search bar, Windows, and start typing tools, and it'll come up. And you can click on the Windows Tools app. In here, there is a bunch of useful things, tools and tips that you can use to maintain and configure your computer. But the one we're going to be looking at today, which is going to be the most important one, is right down here at the bottom, which is the Windows Memory Diagnostic. Now you can actually access this from a safe mode as well. Uh, maybe we'll do a follow-up on video on that if you're having problems actually getting into Windows. If you are, let us know in the comments section below. But if you can get into Windows and it's not overly buggy, but just getting random crashes, this is a good way of testing your memory. So what we're gonna do is double click on Windows Memory Diagnostic, and you'll get this message come up. So you've got the option to restart now and check for problems, which is the recommended option. Obviously save your work before you do it. Or alternatively, you can choose to check for problems the next time I start my computer. So this actually, this process take, so actually this process can take a long time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna choose restart now. Obviously if you do check for next time you start your computer, if you need to start your computer in a hurry, then yeah, you may need to wait a little bit. So anyway, let's do restart now and check for problems. And as you can see, the computer is now restarting. You don't have to do anything at all. Literally just let it do its own thing and it'll start up straight away in the Windows Memory Diagnostic. So when it first comes up, uh, unfortunately you'll hear my fans ramping up because they're controlling software, but I do apologize for that. So this is the Windows Memory Diagnostic tool. It basically tells you what it's doing on there. Currently it's running a test pass one of two and it's 0% complete. So obviously this could take a long time. It's got the current status on there. If you start scanning and straight away there's loads of red exclamation marks or red text in the middle of the screen, which I'm pointing to, which is pointless because you can't see, but yeah, you'll get messages straight away. So if you're getting red errors straight away, it means basically your RAM is not good at all. You can, if you want to, you can actually change some of the options in here. So you can press F1 and you can choose various types of testing. So this is all done on the keyboard, not the mouse, unfortunately, because it's done in the kind of DOS environment. So you've got the option for a basic test, which is a, a quick, easy one, which you can do. If you're pretty sure it is your RAM at fault, then the basic test should actually pick up problems straight away. There's a standard and extended, obviously, depending which one you do, it's gonna take a longer or shorter time. Once you've chosen your test, so we're gonna choose basic, you can then use the tab key to move around and you can choose to have the cache either in the default situation or just on or off. So this turns the cache on for all tests, turns it off for all tests, and you can use the default. Again, if you press the tab key, you can choose how many passes. So if you wanna be really sure and you wanna do a ton of passes, then you can choose up to 15 passes of the RAM. Obviously, depending on the amount of RAM you've got, this could make it an extremely long test, but the default is set to two. Once you're happy, press F10 to apply the changes you've made. And there we go, it's gonna start the test. And as you can see, the test pass is running considerably quicker now. This test should probably take a couple of minutes. So it's a very quick and straightforward thing to do. So we'll let it carry on, do this, and then we'll uh, let the system reboot and then we'll check out the status. As you can see at the moment, it does say at the bottom, Windows will restart the computer automatically. The test results will be displayed again after you log on, which they technically will be, but they're not. So we'll show you how to access the tests once it's rebooted. Okay, so when Windows has restarted, it is an automatic process, and obviously when you're logged in, or if you've got it set to automatic login, easy way to find, well, <laughs> I say easy, it's not particularly easy, this is what I'm actually showing you in the video. So you'd expect from what the program said that you would get the results and maybe there'd be some sort of pop-up, 
Uh, sadly, there isn't. So what we need to do is to right click on the start flag down here and we're gonna choose the event viewer. And then in the event viewer, what we're gonna to wanna to do is go into Windows Logs and expand that and then go into System and then right click and choose Find and then type in Memory. And find next. So then it's going to find the memory test. So as you see, event 1201, memory diagnostics results. And fortunately for us, we can see that the Windows memory diagnostic tests have detected no errors. So this is also means that RAM is absolutely fine. If you want to, you can just look at the details of that and check out the XML view. This is basically the detailed version of it. But essentially, the, uh, the RAM has passed this a test. Now clearly if you want to, you can rerun the test using the more advanced methods and having the cache turned on, all those kinds of things. But certainly this is gonna be quite useful for finding errors with your RAM. Okay, so there you go, there is how to use the built-in Windows 11 Windows Diagnostic tool to test to see if your uh, RAM is actually functioning as it should do. If for some reason you're not too sure which stick is bad, then what you can do if you're running dual channel, which I think most people will be these days, you can simply just remove one of the sticks, rerun the tests, see if you get the errors, and you may find that one stick is faulty, the other isn't. Generally, it's quite unlikely that both sticks will be faulty. If you do find that both sticks are faulty, then you might want to look at some other settings, maybe your power supply, that sort of things other diagnostic approaches. But anyway, hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has, don't forget to smash the like button. If you need more help or support, don't forget we've got our Discord channel, which you're more than welcome to join. And also you can leave a comment in the comment section below. But if this video has been helpful, then please do feel free to leave us a super thanks if you want to. That's now been activated on the channel. So if you want to help support what we do here, that is very much appreciated. But for now, I've been Mike. This is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.